Mas kamu ganteng. <laughs> kamu punya pacar? Punya istri. Punya istri. Berapa? Berapa? <laughs> istri dan pacar? Istri aja satu. Satu istri, satu pacar. Hello everybody. How are you? I hope you are doing good. This is your boy Hasan Chima back in Jakarta city. And I just woke up and I'm planning to go to go around the city. I'm planning to explore the public transportation of Jakarta, Indonesia. I've been exploring the transportation in the city like uh, from the last three or four months, so it's quite good. But today I'm gonna show you the public transportation in Jakarta is totally free of cost. Like when we want to travel, like within the city, we don't need to pay a single penny for that. There's a small Vinnie man, like the, the name of that van is Jack Lingo. I usually travel by that van when I want to go to outside, so I just need to simply tap the card in the van so I can travel for free, of course. This is amazing, isn't it? So let's go together and I will show you if you also want to come to Jakarta and want to travel for free, of course, this video is going to be helpful for you. So this is the view outside of my apartment, the busy Jakarta city with a lot of motorbikes on the road and uh, the public vehicles and the street food. This is amazing. And one more amazing thing, like you cannot just go out of Jakarta. It was raining like 20 minutes ago and now it's almost clear. And probably it's gonna rain again after 20 minutes. <laughs> because we cannot trust Jakarta's weather. If we want to use the public transportation, we have to go to the bus stops. So I'm planning to head towards the bus stop, so the bus will stop there. There are two types of public transportation, like the mini vans and the big buses. The mini vans are totally free, like for the mini vans, we don't need to pay a single penny. But for the big buses, we need to pay like only uh, 3,500 Indonesian rupiah, like which is almost 0.25 dollars, US dollars. So I'm not gonna spend my 0.25 dollars. I'm gonna travel by free, of course. So where should I go now? Because I'm almost at the bus station. Oh, I'm here at the bus stop, and we can see like we got the, our free public transportation. So he will stop here, and I will try to get in on the front seat of this van this is totally free of course yeah i'm inside the van hello sir how about cover so this is our friendly jacqueline the driver with us this is the van that is totally free of course like this seems to be a private ride <laughs> so where should i go now like i'm already inside the van i guess i should go to a mall which is near from my apartment there is a mall, Pondok in the mall, I'm planning to go there. Maybe I will go and buy some food or something. Today I just wanted to travel and just wanted to explore because I was just getting bored inside my apartment. So let's take a look around the van, like how does it look like and how does it feel like to be in this mini van. It's a bit hot because there is no air conditioning in this van. But it's totally safe to be in this van because there is a CCTV as well. Like if you are traveling by this van, uh, you don't need to be worried like you will be snatched or something because everything is being monitored by the driver the driver is so friendly and the space on the front seat is so much but i'm sitting on the priority seat because that was empty that time like nobody was here so i was like i should sit in the front seat so i can get a better experience and look at jakarta city from inside the car it's beautiful look at your bro from the mirror <laughs> And if we talk about like how we doing, how do we need to pay for this van? Like we don't need to pay money, but we need to tap this card on the scanner. Like when we tap the card, they don't detect any kind of money. They just want to check like how many people are just traveling by this van every single day. So I'm gonna check in this van like by tapping this card on this machine. And one more time, they are tap out. Yeah, you can hear the voice from there. So this is how I can travel by this van for free of course, literally it's free of course. Like when I came to Jakarta, I was wondering like how does it possible to travel by free of course. Then one of my friendly Jacklingo driver told me like the Indonesian government is planning to uh, promote public transportation. That's why they are providing free public transportation options so that people can avoid using their own cars and they will prefer the public transportation. And I really appreciate this. This is so good. Because Jakarta is already so overpopulated, so if everybody is just going on road by their own cars, it will be more mess. No, it's already there is so much traffic, but still, because of the public transportation, it's getting control. So let me try to speak with my Jacklingo driver. Apa kabar mas? Baik. Kamu dari mana? Dari Jakarta. Sorry, Jakarta. Kamu Batavi? Yeah. Oh, nice. 
So he's from Jakarta city and the people who are originally from Jakarta they call Batavi. So he's Batavi, like if I'm from Pakistan and I'm from Punjab, I'm Punjabi, but the people who are from Jakarta are Batavi. They're from Jakarta, Java Barat, they are Sunda. I'm learning about Indonesia. You should appreciate me. <laughs> Look at the traffic and the oh my gosh. Fortunately there is no traffic in our lane. So I want to see like I want to show you as well like how does it look like from the back side if you see like there are passengers in the back side there are two seats and some is also there he is also recording oh my god but he's recording with iPhone 7 ah is this iPhone 7 6 yeah, this 8 is, this is iPhone, iPhone 7 Pro I'm wondering where will this video goes like he is not probably gonna upload on YouTube because of quality <laughs> never mind just kidding so oh my god look at that guy uh, Oh, this is our very dangerous driver and very active driver look at like he is passing by with only a few space on the road and this is also a bus stop he will stop here and he will pick this guy up so everybody can travel for free like I still cannot believe this but I can appreciate the government of Jakarta Indonesia I can appreciate the uh, authorities of transportation in Jakarta because they are providing such a good option for the public being a foreigner here this is a really nice for me because if I need to pay for the Gojek or Grab it's expensive for me like I cannot afford that like if I want to travel every single day I want to go different part of Jakarta but just because of this transportation I can go all around the city I can go wherever I want to with no money so that's why I'm planning to do some challenges like traveling around Indonesia with no money <laughs> But uh, for the trains, for the big buses, we have to pay. That's also so cheap, like 0 0.25 dollars is nothing, bro. No, we are stopping at another shop, and some of the passengers will drop off from here. And if somebody wants to come in, they will come inside. And you can see from here, she will come inside. Mas kamu gantang. Kamu umur berapa tahun? Empat puluh. Yeah. Oh, he's 40 years, but he looks so young. I was like, kamu dua puluh. Kenapa? Kamu dua puluh? <laughs> kamu punya pacar? Yeah. Punya istri. Punya istri? Yeah. Berapa? Berapa? <laughs> istri dan pacar? Satu istri, satu pacar. Satu aja istri. <laughs> punya anak? Baru mau. Baru mau. Baru means new, mau means want. I don't know. Doesn't make sense. So it's okay. Aku mau pergi di pondok in the mall. Berapa minute lagi ya? Sepuluh? Ya, 30. 30 minutes. It's fine because it's so far from here. If we look at the Jakarta city from the inside, this is the center of Jakarta, like the inside of Jakarta city. Here you can see like how is the culture of Jakarta, how is the traffic and the, how are the roads of Jakarta. Because if you just simply go to the SCGD area, you will see the only modern side of Jakarta. But this is the real side of Jakarta city. And this is nice. So let's go, let's make it everybody. Just come to Jakarta, just explore Jakarta city and you will you will fall in love with the culture, I guarantee you. I was planning to stay here for like not so longer but I guess I fall in love with the culture, I fall in love with the people. The people are so helpful in Jakarta city, the, everything is good. But there are two things that I don't like about Jakarta city, there is so much traffic jams, there is so much pollution. So, thank God like the Jakarta's government is working on them, like they are trying to eliminate pollution. They are trying to eliminate traffic jams from the city and I hope so one day like after one or two years they will be successful and I pray for that in the Jesus name Amen I just like So look at this traffic jams oh my gosh a lot of traffic jams here because it's not traffic jam my I think so I think so this is because of the red light there if I can see uh, I cannot see from here because of this white car I guess it's already green there yeah, that is green light. That's, that's good, thank God. I guess I have to change my vehicle from there. 
because I'm going to the Pondo Kunda Mall Spa. Aku di sini bisa. Oh, okay, okay. He will drop me in the corner. Oh, red light. He's he's violating the red light. Oh my gosh. This is Jakarta, baby. <laughs> Everything is possible in Jakarta city. He just followed the red light. Mm. Okay, thank you so much, bro. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So we successfully uh, one more step closer to our destination. Now we have to get the another van like 102 that will go straight to the Pondok in the mall. Oh, nice. So after rain, this is how Jakarta look like. Oh. Hey Mas, how are you? He's a friendly guy here. And let, uh, the, there is a green light, so I cannot cross the road now. I have to wait for the red light, then I will go there, inside of the road, so I can get my vehicle from over there. Just hold on a moment from here. I have to be very careful because in Jakarta, people even violate the red lights. I'm crossing the road, and uh, there is a red light. But everybody is just trying to come inside. I have to be careful in Jakarta. I don't want to die in Jakarta <laughs> because I have to explore the other parts of Indonesia as well. So I'm almost there in the next stop. So from here I will get a new van and after five minutes I will be in the mall. I hope you are liking the video. You are liking my adventures in Indonesia. Oh my gosh, the motorbikes are crazy in Jakarta. They are so noisy, so loud and I don't know how people can manage them and how people can ride them. I'm at the bus stop and my van is already here. This van, I guess this is a good van with air conditioning. Oh, I guess it's already full. I have to wait for the another one. My bad. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, like I'm just looking at the road, I'm just looking at the motorbikes. Just enjoying the music with so loud voices, loud noises. <laughs> It's okay to be in Jakarta. You are not getting bored because every single moment the bike will be passed from you and it will be so loud like boom, boom, boom. So you're not gonna bore in Jakarta. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my bus and this is the one more fact that we have to wait so much uh, because because of traffic, the public transportation also got stuck in the traffic jam. It's already like seven to eight minutes and uh, the van is not here. The first one was already full, so I had to wait a bit longer. So I just wanted to tell you, like, this is a real fact. Like, sometimes you need to wait a bit longer. So the wait is worth it when you don't need to pay anything. I'm just waiting, just trying to distract myself, just trying to entertain myself from the loudy bikes, from the noisy bikes. <laughs> this is one more car, but this is not going to my destination, so. Just wait at the bus station, Hassan Chima. So look at this, our van is already here. Now I'm gonna sit on the back side. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's air conditioning as well. That's cool about this van. So after waiting for 10 minutes, like 10 to 12 minutes, I'm already here. I guess this is much better than the previous one because in the previous one, there was no air conditioning, but in this one, there's air conditioning and it's good. It's nice to be here. So, I would appreciate the government of Jakarta, Indonesia for providing such a free opportunity to travel around the city. Uh, let me tap my card because I want to be a responsible citizen here. Because without tapping the card, it's so legal to travel by this van. Although we don't need to pay for anything. So, this is my card and I'm gonna pay on this here. And you help me to tap there. Yeah, look at the friendly locals in Indonesia, he's helping me. Satulagi one more time. Yeah, thank you so much. So I already paid for my card. There is a big LED also here, but it's not working right now. It's already turned off. There's a fire extinguisher as well. The hammers, if in case of the emergency, you can break the glass to go out of the car. It's good. It's babus. It's nice to be in this car. Smoking is not allowed and you are being monitored by the CCTV 24 hours 7. Cool, cool. That's good. I guess we are already like near our destination. It's only 5 minutes from here. So, I will catch you up there. So, we are almost at the Pondok in the mall. And he's gonna stop at the bus station. 
beautiful, beautiful guys of Jakarta. <laughs> hey, bro, bye. Ah. So we are already at the bus station of Pondok in the mall. Just let me go inside the mall. So this was my experience by traveling with the public transportation of Jakarta, Indonesia. It's good, it's nice and it's budget friendly. The drivers are friendly and it's also giving me opportunity to learn Bahasa Indonesia while communicating with the local people. So overall like 9 out of 10 because uh, the one point is missing because like sometimes we have to wait a bit longer for that. <coughs> I'm sorry. But I guess it's worth it to travel by this one. Like if somebody don't want to wait a bit longer, he have the opportunity, he have the option to pay by the Gojak or Grab and he can go from there. My GoPro is just turned off. So if you like the video, just uh, hit the like button. And if you like my adventures in Indonesia, subscribe my YouTube channel because I love Indonesia. Aku cinta Indonesia. See you next video. Sampai jumpa lagi.